Deputies led a shackled Wade Wynn into Judge Anthony Brockman's courtroom a little before two this afternoon. Wynn's appearance today was in sharp contrast to how he looked during his first hearing. This is Wynn on February 4th, two days after deputies say the 23-year-old shot and killed Claremont County Detective Bill Brewer during a 12-hour standoff. Investigators say Brewer and Lieutenant Nick DeRose were trying to help Wynn, who's accused of faking a suicide attempt in order to lure the officers into his Pierce Township apartment. Obviously, this is a case, as I indicated last time, of, of significant public interest. During today's hearing, Brockman agreed with Wynn's request to wear regular clothes during future court appearances. The argument is that if Mr. Wynn is repeatedly shown um, prior to trial, always in jail clothing, that any prospective jurors uh, repeatedly seeing that may form the opinion that he's guilty. Another defense request will have to wait until Wynn's next hearing in early April. The issue of him, the, the request to appear without restraints is not being ruled upon at this time. Wynn's attorneys say any kind of restraint could violate their client's right to due process, especially since it's a capital murder case. Prosecutors have cited safety concerns and the nature of the charges Wynn faces as reason enough to deny his request to appear in court without restraints. Well, Judge Brockman's courtroom was crowded today. Deputies sat with Bill Brewer's loved ones and supporters on one side. Several members of Wynn's family and others who looked to be his friends filled the remaining seats.